community planning for disaster management. Role of Village Disaster Management Committee A villager then asked the BDO, But sir, what will be the role of this committee? The BDO informed him that the main responsibility would be to create awareness amongst the community members so as to reduce the impact of any hazard and also guide the community in the preparation of the village disaster management plan. But then, said Seema, a young college girl, but then to reduce the impact of a disaster, we also need to have skilled people who are trained in first aid and search and rescue. Yes, said Ramji, we need to enhance our skills to be able to respond better in case a disaster strikes. Ramji asked BDO, Sir, in this case, what are we expected to do? The BDO said that there was a need to form village disaster management teams, VDMTs. But what would the disaster management team members do? asked a villager. This team should have volunteers who can be trained in this functional areas that are critically required in that situation. Seema then said again, In my college, we have been trained in basic first aid. Can we be a part of this team then? The PHC doctor was very happy to know that there was a young girl in the village who knew first aid. He enthusiastically agreed, Yes, you can. And the BDO also reconfirmed, saying, Why not, Seema, you can. The tea stall Kaka proudly shared with the BDO, She is my daughter. I have taken pains to get her educated in the college. And now, I am on a lookout for a good groom for her after she completes her high education. The BDO just smiled and said, Kaka, your daughter is very talented. You should motivate her so that she is able to achieve many milestones in her life. There was a bit of serious discussion within the villagers as to what were the different disaster management teams that were likely to be formed in Sukpar village. Looking Looking at the villagers, the BDO said, Since Sukpar is frequently affected by floods and cyclones, we need to focus on these two hazards first. Kaka, who was sitting in one corner, said, Sir Panji, we all are half literates. What critical skills can we hope to acquire? I want people who can swim well, said the Sir Panch, and those who have a good physique to carry their fellow villagers. Our Dr. Saab would need help in the PHC to ensure that he can concentrate on critical cases while first aid can be handled by others. Seema, who is already trained and our ANM sister can be of great help to him. Then if the telephone and electricity don't work, we will perhaps have to rely on Badal's radio for information. Poor child, he is always being rebuked for his fascination for the instrument. 
Then the group talked, discussed, conversed, pondered, fought and did everything possible that a group can do to come up with a set of names for each of the following teams. Early Warning and Communication Team Evacuation and Temporary Shelter Management Team Search and Rescue Team Health and First Aid Team Relief Coordination Team Water and Sanitation Team Based on the skills required, the villagers decided on the volunteers to be a part of in each of the teams. It's time to act now. After about 2-3 days, Bharat and his friends got together all the active representatives of Sukpar village to decide on the volunteers for the different disaster management teams that were formed in the primary school meeting. Ramji, who was sitting in one corner and watching his grandson closely, said, Children, before deciding on the members of the disaster management teams, you need to first know the vulnerability of your village. Let us draw a map and then locate areas which are vulnerable and the households which have vulnerable people like the old, sick and ailing, small children, etc. On asking for volunteers, Gauri, a young girl, who had a beautiful hand at Rangoli, came forward to draw the map of her village on the veranda of the school with the help of those present. The seaside was taken as a prominent natural feature of Sukpar. Then Gauri drew the village boundary and important locations like the PHC, police station and the cooperative bank were marked on the Rangoli. Bansi wanted the village marketplace to be drawn with care and his grocery shop shown prominently, which was of course played down. The wells and ponds were marked and in their references the houses followed, as best and as many as possible. When the mapping of the village was complete, Bharat stepped up and said, Now we shall see who threatens our beautiful village, our Sukpar. Bharat said, We fear the cyclone that lies in the sea. And we are afraid of the quake that comes from under the earth. And scared of the gas that the RK chemical plant can spread, said Ahmed, pointing to the great chimney in the distance. Bharat said, We need to see which are the households that have members who need attention on priority basis in any emergency situation in the village. All that housed that had aged inmates, infants, small children, expectants, lactating mothers and handicapped residents were marked with a V for vulnerable as also the houses near the sea and next to the highway. Now, said Gauri, do I keep drawing my village with all the possible threats and liabilities? I want to show how strong my Sukpar is, in spite of the dangers that surround in like Abhimanyu in the Chakra view. Yes, said Maulana Abdul Razak, I may be 70 years old, but my voice floats through every lane of the village when I call over the public address system in the mosque. Believe me, my voice will not quiver the day you want me to announce an impending cyclone. But eh khuda, I hope that day never comes. We will mark the mosque as one of Sukpa's best resource as an early warning system, said Bharat. Can we identify our other strengths in the village? Please count my school compound as a safe heaven if people need to evacuate and stay for a definite period, said the school principal. Let me know 
If you need rations, I will provide as much as I can. It's my contribution to my village," said Bansi. And we thought only the kankar was free," quipped Champa Devi. Everyone laughed. Slowly, one by one, the households with the tractors, trucks, tarpaulins, and generator sets were identified. In the end, they turned to the human resources available with the village. Gauri smiled with joy at Bharat as he drew out a replica of her rangoli on a chart paper for future reference. She had completed drawing a strong and self-reliant Sukhpar. Soon the DMC of Sukhpar had their first meeting and Sheila ji was ready with her query. She said identifying the teams is fine but unless our DMT members are trained they can't give their best what is our plan for this Ram ji again came to the rescue Sheila Behan we have already spoken to the government and they will support us in this the panchayat and the DMC will have to coordinate with other villages that are taking similar initiatives and identifying resource persons for training the teams in the next meeting ram ji came back with a list we in consultation with the block administration have identified the following institution for helping us in our sector wise trainings early warning and communication army base in our district headquarters evacuation and temporary shelter management district police department search and rescue fire brigade in our district headquarters health and first aid a doctor from st john's hospital relief coordination the local nss chapter water and sanitation a wat san engineer is being sent by the district panchayat apart from this we also need to teach our masons to build houses that are earthquake cyclone resistant said the sarpanch also this technique they call retrofitting some of our dilapidated structures can do with a bit of that remember the bdo sahib was saying that day he could arrange for some master masons yes and when i went to the district headquarter i saw these pipes fitted in a few of the houses on inquiring they said that it was a system of channels to catch the rain water on the terrace and use it for household purposes they call it roof rain water harvesting I thought if we could harness the limited rainwater in our traditional reservoirs for our fields in the drought years why not the same for our homes One by one all the training were completed and over 6 months Sukhpar became a totally different village not not in appearance because there was not much change apart from what one could see in the few constructions that were on but in spirit it was a much more confident community the plan development try out the plan one morning bharat walked up the hill and entered the mosque he met the molvi and said remember molana sahib what you said about your voice in the village lanes the t- the time has come when sukhpar needs that voice then he looked out towards the sea the old man didn't say a word his eyelids didn't bat and his wrinkles didn't twitch he went over to the mic and announced in, 
in the name of Allah, rush to the school. The pirates is coming. There is a cyclone warning. His voice was strong as he spoke to the people, stronger than when he spoke to God every day. Ramji himself was taken aback, but every man and woman performed his or her duty. The evacuation team brought the aged and the handicapped first. The few telephones present were not working. The postman rushed on his bicycle towards the block headquarters for help. The principal arranged for the logistic in his school. The PHC doctor started attending to some of the aged who complained of loss of breath. Bunsi opened the floodgates to his go-down for the DMT members. Some people who were injured in the rush never had to bother the doctor for the basic first aid they required. Two hours later, when Bharat entered the school hall and called for their attention, two thousand eyes looked at him. Not a single one wept. Those that did were a few infants. Bharat spoke, The enemy has gone to never return again. There was a sigh and prayers all around. But how do you know the cyclone will never come back? asked Bansi. Whoever spoke to the cyclone? The enemy was our ignorance and complacency to disaster preparedness. Not a soul moved. The wireman who had sabotaged the telephone lines for a good cause was the only one who silently patted Bharat for the successful mock drill. Dear students, the story mentioned above clearly indicates the importance of preparation of a village disaster management plan and the steps involved in it. In this chapter, we have read of the important role played by the community members to reduce the risk and steps to be followed to prepare a community disaster management plan.